Okay, so practice with PB paint. Um, you're working over your sketch. I'll need to make a layer. New layer. So I'm ready for coloring. I'm just going to base like a small tablet. But it would be nice to try a Cintiq. But when I took art, they never had that stuff. So the people taking art now are probably lucky. They might have Cintiq, but usually in art school they don't. Not until you get into like illustration. But those programs could ruin you big time. So gotta be careful. There are four years plus longer. If you fail some courses, then you have to take them again. That's uh, my coloring. I'm getting a couple good brushes. I know the door is going to be blue, so I have to change a dark kind of blue the door. Then I'll have to go back to my reference and see what the rest of the colors were. I'm trying to match it closely, but it won't be accurate. So I don't use a Cintiq, so be nice to get a Cintiq for home study, but it's not always going to be affordable. Home study is pretty expensive, so be nice to get out to Disney one day. But being in another country, it's really tough. Even if you want to try to apply for work or something like that. It's kind of because TV Paint's got a couple good brushes, but not a whole lot. Well, the best I could do for coloring right now. That's why I go to, you could go to the side bar and a couple of these chalk brushes are not too bad. Scroll down, I add a couple pencil packs which I drew my line out with and that's so how I like to sketch and draw with Habit have your own sketch and like a rough sketch or a printout and just draw over the uh, black and white printout and between coloring uh, you'll need to have the color reference the white wall I think uh, I think the wall is white but I'm gonna have to double check and down here I have tiles so it's gonna be whitish as well and in the back I have some wood so that'll show that I could do uh, different types of texture and a kitchen is pretty complex so I'm not sure if the, where the rotation went but the rotation is pretty neat uh, well, let's go down I, I have the zoom option zoom in and out so if they had a nav like they have the navigator little side panel for the rotation that would make it easier. I think somewhere are hidden in the timeline below. So I don't know if this is like a command function that'd be uh, easier to click. Like my palette it doesn't have any functions, so I'm gonna have to update that. And layout, you know, I quite like like layout, but free top and tablet. We need to upgrade to a high-end Cintiq, but even that, I, I don't think my line drawing will be any different. But it'd be nice to have. So, 
Well, I could get this far with TV Paint, so it's a pretty hard program to learn. Plus, I don't think it's all the brushes are there that I could use, but at least I got a couple of these brushes now. So thanks for watching my coloring and TV Paint, I guess, for kitchen layout. Uh, the kitchen is from Curious George, I should tell. The two characters are there. Rob didn't ask you to get him. Thanks for watching. Maybe one day I'll get back into oil painting again. I don't know. Get into painting is pretty expensive these days as well. But Cintiq is a lot more, so you're kind of screwed either way. Unless you have full time work or something. I mean, who knows? Thanks for watching. Coloring in progress with TV paint, I guess.